Science is about trying to get rigorous answers to questions about how nature works. And it's a very important process that's actually quite reliable if carried out correctly with generation of hypotheses and testing of those by accumulation of data and then drawing conclusions that are continually revisited to be sure they're right. So if you want to answer questions about how nature works, how biology works, for instance, science is the way to get there. Scientists believe in that, and they are very troubled by a suggestion that other kinds of approaches can be taken to derive truth about nature. And some, I think, have seen faith as therefore a threat to the scientific method and therefore to be resisted. But faith in its proper perspective is really asking a different set of questions. And that's why I don't think there needs to be a conflict here. Uh, the kinds of questions that faith uh, can help one address are more in the philosophical realm. Why are we all here? Why is there something instead of nothing? Is there a God? Isn't it clear that those aren't scientific questions and that science doesn't have much to say about them? But you either have to say, well, those are inappropriate questions and we can't discuss them, or you have to say we need something besides science uh, to pursue some of the things that humans are curious about. For me, that makes perfect sense. But I think for many scientists, uh, particularly for those who have seen the shrill pronouncements from extreme views that threaten that what they're doing scientifically and feel, therefore, that they, they can't really uh, include those thoughts uh, into their own uh, worldview, uh, faith can be seen as, uh, as an enemy. And similarly, on the other side, some of my scientific colleagues uh, who are of an atheist persuasion are sometimes using science as a club over the head of believers, basically suggesting that anything that can't be reduced to a scientific question isn't important and it just represents a superstition and it should be gotten rid of. Part of the problem is, I think the, the extremists have occupied the stage. Uh, those voices are the ones we hear. I think most people are actually kind of comfortable with the idea that science is a reliable way to learn about nature, but it's not the whole story. And there's a place also for religion, for faith, for theology, for philosophy. Uh, but that harmony perspective doesn't get as much attention. Nobody's as interested in harmony as they are in conflict, I'm afraid. My study of genetics certainly tells me incontrovertibly that Darwin was right uh, about the nature of how living things have arrived on the scene by descent from a common ancestor under the influence of natural selection over very long periods of time. Darwin uh, was amazingly uh, insightful given how limited the molecular information he had was. Essentially, it didn't exist. Uh, now with the digital code of DNA, we have the best possible proof of Darwin's theory that he could have imagined. So that certainly tells me something about the nature of living things. But it actually adds to my uh, sense uh, that this is an answer to a how question, and it leaves the why question still hanging in the air. Other aspects of our universe, I, I think also uh, for me, as for Einstein, uh, raise questions about the possibility of an intelligence uh, behind all of this. Uh, why is it, for instance, that the constants that determine the behavior of matter and energy, like the gravitational constant, for instance, have precisely the value that they have to in order for there to be any complexity at all in the universe? That is fairly breathtaking in its lack of probability of ever having happened, and it does make you think that a mind might have been involved uh, in setting the stage at the same time, uh, that does not imply necessarily that that mind is controlling uh, the specific manipulations uh, of things that are going on in the natural world. In fact, I would very much resist that idea. I think the laws of nature potentially could be the product of a mind. I think that's a defensible perspective. But once those laws are in place, then I think nature goes on and science has the chance to be able to perceive how that works and what its consequences are.